All right, I am going to make this video um, because what started out as one person telling me to look at this, and obviously I'm going to look at it regardless. Um, even though I know about it, I've had now, God, hundreds of people messaging me links begging me to look at Ready or Not. Um, and if you have not heard of this by now, well, now you've heard of it from me, and you don't have to message me about it to look at it anymore. Ready or Not um, definitely looks like one of the most anticipated tactical shooters to be announced this year. Um, if it's not on your radar, it needs to be, because this is probably going to be the closest thing we're going to receive as a spiritual successor to SWAT 4 um, that will ever come out, at, at least in the 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 time being um a lot of people have been making a lot of comparisons to rainbow six siege with this game and i have to say if you are going to make the inevitable comparison to rainbow six siege you have not played swat um because swat is a very different experience from the rainbow six genre so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show off the reveal trailer which i have to warn you does not show too much in terms of gameplay or anything like that but then we'll go through the features and all of the uh, gameplay elements that are probably going to be in the game, and I'll give you my opinion on what this is going to be like. So, here we go. Ready or not, this is the reveal trailer. 911 emergency. Now, the reason that this is considerably more comparable to the SWAT series than the Siege series, and of course, as you can see, it also does very specifically say special weapons and tactics, so even if this is not an official um, successor to the SWAT 4 series, um, it definitely is a spiritual one. And the big pointers towards that is that the game SWAT dealt with much more serious themes than uh, maybe comparatively the Rainbow Six Siege series or otherwise. Um, this is because the SWAT series is much more focused on the psychological aspect of being in SWAT versus the tactical aspect. Now, don't get me wrong, the tactical aspect is still very important, and I expect this game is going to have really fantastic gunplay and teamwork. Hopefully it will be a multiplayer game with fully fleshed out um, multiplayer gameplay similar to the, the SWAT series as well. Um, but, of course, as you can see, there will be all sorts of things from you going into a school shooting um, scenario, uh, probably human trafficking scenarios, um, lots of very serious dark themes. Um, and that's what the SWAT series was kind of known for. Um, and it's really interesting. In fact, I, I'm actually surprised that this is not an official successor to the SWAT series because it's, it seems to nail what that series was about 
uh, more than this. It, it, it just seems like a, uh, it seems like an official successor because it, ta it is taking all of those themes and expounding on them even more so um, in a way that's, uh, I, I, I guess, um, expected of a next-gen successor. Um, so there is not too much footage of the gameplay itself currently out. Um, but there is, of course, the website that you can go to, voidinteractive.net. Um, it shows a lot of uh, really high-polished work. L let me tell you this. I I've been in the, the industry of marketing games for a long time. Um, and being in that industry, I see a lot of bullshit everywhere. Um, I, and I've gotten to the point where I've seen so many games go from announcement to release and been so intimately involved with, with their process, either, either externally or internally, um, either working with the teams or watching from an outside perspective. But either way, I, I've seen a lot of um, development announcements such as this. And I have to say that this looks very legitimate. Um, everything they're showing here looks very, um, I, I guess I want to say high quality and custom. Um, it does not look like they're ripping off anything or putting up any smoke and mirrors. They haven't shown a lot, but everything that they have shown, little details, I mean, even even like this little, last, this little screenshot here, um, shows that they definitely have something that is um, behind the scenes that they're getting ready to show off that is going to be amazing. And I really think this is going to be a... I think this is I think this is going to be a blockbuster, honestly. Um, so we can go through all of the different features. We have a planning phase, strategic planning, um, which is probably going to be really really similar to due process, which is really cool. Don't know why due process never released. Um, I'm sure they're still waiting to put that game out. I don't know why they're holding on to it still. Um, and then of course it has multiplayer, eight friends in co-op or battle other SWAT units in frantic competitive multiplayer environment. Um, I'm assuming co-op is going to be a big aspect in this game. Again, Again, the SWAT series very um, focused on serious thematic elements, unlike Siege. Siege Siege's terrorist hunt mode is uh, is a lot more just kind of like kill a bunch of random AI. Whereas I am going to assume the co-op elements in this game are going to be very thematic. Maybe not necessarily storyline driven, um, but but definitely like theme driven. Um, then, of course, the player dynamics is something that every game is going to promote and talk about. Um, but uh, I, I, am st I still really want to get my hands on this game because I think the weapon handling is something I'm not really going to be able to have an opinion on until I actually get my hands on the game. Then, of course, you got all the standard stuff where they sit here and they talk about all the cool things that they have in the game, um, which, you know, it, it does look like they have a wide variety of different weapons. I don't really care as much about this, though, because it's not about the weapons. It's about how they're actually implemented in the game. Um, so, so I'm interested to see in-game gameplay to see uh, to what level of detail and to um, what level of... I, well, actually, maybe that's not the right word. Uh, the level of detail is important, but also like the the intuition of weapon handling. And a lot of different games have a lot of different ways that they they handle weapon handling. You've got Arma, Escape from Tarkov, and Rainbow Six Siege. Similar games in a lot of ways, but also drastically different just in the way that they deal with weapon handling, how it feels when you actually, um, you know, point your weapon around or use it or interact with it. So I, I, that is something I don't really have much information on that I want to know more about. Um, but yeah, so that is it. Ready or not, essentially SWAT 5, the closest thing to SWAT 5 I've ever seen. So, so close to SWAT 5 that I'm surprised this is not an official game. Uh, in fact, I, I'm at this point, I have not, I have not delved into the, the back, uh, the backstory of this game as much as I will probably be doing so over the next couple of days or weeks. I am now genuinely wondering if there are people who worked on the original SWAT series working on this, because there is no way that it would be so insanely faithful to the original. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, SWAT is an amazing game, 
But there's a lot of other amazing games out there that have not had spiritual successors as faithful as I, as this has been. Like hell, even people even complain about how you know Squad isn't as faithful to Project Reality as it could be, and this seems so faithful to the original series in ways that it totally does not have to be. And the only way that I I think that might be possible or justified, not that I'm complaining, but it, it genuinely makes me wonder if there are people from the official SWAT 4 team working on this. I really want to actually figure that out now. Okay, so. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this, uh, make sure you go and sign up on our website. Um, those of you who are interested, uh, I'm probably going to be doing more videos on this in the future, but uh, YouTube is now officially classing my channel as kind of like a military channel related channel, and a lot of my videos have been being demonetized uh, because YouTube's algorithm is flagging me as a uh, military related um, as a uh, political conflict and war related channel, um, which is kind of insane. So if you want this community to still exist, if you want me to continue making these videos and hosting the servers for the games that we play, con consider going to bluedrake42.com. I'm probably going to be making more videos about this um, as we make more material in the future. Um, Although, I am also actually kind of excited because not being beholden to YouTube's ad revenue is probably going to allow me a lot more flexibility to do what I want um, instead of having to give in to their demands. Um, but yeah. All right. That is it. I will see you guys again soon. Ready or not, the uh, SWAT successor that I think we've all wanted, and I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this, as should you. All right. Talk to you guys later. Cheers.